Hey, the city championship on the line in Ventura as the Cougars hosting the Buena Bulldogs. Just how close has this series been? Well, Buena entering their 32nd meeting with Ventura with a 16-15 series lead. Yeah, it's been that close. Tyler Ebel. Wow, what a sophomore runner he has been for Ventura all season long. He gets 15 yards. Two plays later, Ebel, 29 yards. Great downfield blocks. And Tyler Ebel's in the end zone. PAT blocked and tore up 6-0. First play of the night for Buena, Kyle Lofman to his favorite receiver, Cody Murphy. 33 yards downfield for Buena. Then Lofman to his tight end, Josh Lake. 10 yards and a Buena first down. Freddy Kiajo has been kind of banged up lately. He wasn't about to miss this game. 13-yard touchdown run and right into the long jump hit. <laughs> <laughs> good measure, PAT good, 7-6, Buena. Second quarter, Buena gets the ball back. Lofman to Cody Murphy, and this is why some consider him the best athlete on Buena. He turns it into a 75-yard touchdown, 14-6, Buena. Back comes Ventura. Tyler Ebel picking up 11 yards on the sweep. Ventura going to go right back to Ebel, why not, huh? He delivers eight more yards for the Cougars. Then to the air, Mike Anderson to Clark Goodwin, 12 yards and a Ventura Cougar first down. Anderson staying in the air. It's Scott Ellis, 30 yards, touchdown Ventura. Now they had the PAT block, so they're gonna go for two and they get it. Jonathan Purley, the catch, it was tied at 14, but Buena would go on to win this game. Final score, 35-26. So Buena finishes up Channel League play at three and one. Next week, they play a non-league game at Oxnard. Ventura slips to 1-2 and two in league, 4-4-1. Four, four and one. Oh. It's a two-time defending champion of Royal Grande Eagles continuing their quest for the three-peat tonight. The Eagles taking on Tyler Ebel well, and double. the Ventura Cougars. This one being Draw played at Rio Mesa High School. Somebody wipe CG, then it'll be Royal Grande and Sean Shield. They're passing the ball a lot more this step year, AG is. Justin Pointer for 12 yards. And Let's then see, uh, Chris Janowitz. Where is Chris Janowitz? He's ahead of the pack. Uh -oh. 33 uh -oh. yards for the touchdown. And AG up 7 to nothing juice. in the second quarter. Here comes Ventura. Scott Ellis. Okay, that looks Clark good. Goodwin. 12 yards for Cougar first down. Ellis dumps it off to Tino Gary. A critical first down on this drive. And Ventura picks it up as Gary smashes in. And a couple penalties pushed him back. No problem. Scott Ellis doing it himself. 15 yard sneak. For another Cougar first down, and then there he is, Tyler Ebel into the end zone, 7-7 at halftime. This is not the way Ventura envisioned the second half. They put the ball on the ground, AG pounces on it. You can't do that against the two-time defending CIF champs. Chris Janowitz, hard running here, six yards. And then speaking of hard running, Russell Spadford's done it all year. Oh, 14 yards, and it sets up Chris Janowitz, four-yard touchdown run. And the Royal Grande wins again. Final Wipes score, 21-7. AG moves on to the semis to play the winner of the par. Westlake Camarillo game next Saturday. Later in the show, we will have action from the Westlake Camarillo. Simi Valley has one of the most exciting players in our area in Calvin Bell. Bell trying to help but ring up a victory for Simi over Ventura. Joining us now from our newsroom with more on the game is Friday Football Focus reporter Chris King. Chris? All right, thanks a lot, Jerry. That's right. Uh, Simi Valley does have Calvin Bell, and he is a great running back. But don't forget, Ventura has Tyler Ebel, who was also an exceptional back. He had a breakthrough year last year as a sophomore. Last year against Simi Valley, he uh, broke out for two long touchdown runs in Simi's lopsided loss to Ventura. Let's head out to Larrabee Stadium. Let's pick it up in the third quarter. 10-7 Ventura, but the Cougars fumble on the first play. That's not a good way to start out the highlights. Simi Valley would capitalize. Watch the right side of your screen now. Quarterback Ben Santiago fires it to Julian Santiago for the 10-yard touchdown. Nice catch, 14-10 Simi Valley. Ventura takes over. Tyler Ebel. This guy picks up yardage in big chunks. This time it's a 19-yard pickup, weaving in and out of traffic until he's finally brought down. A few plays later, quarterback Scott Ellis fakes the handoff, decides to keep it, and he's going to scamper 20 yards himself. Nice. Let's move to the fourth quarter now and get the cheerleader some airtime. Continuing the same drive, Tino Gary finishes it with a one-yard run, 17-14 Ventura. Pioneers take over now. Akinsami Fanu, if I butchered your name, I apologize. Great run here. Look at this guy. You can't stop this guy. 
Number of yards, I'm not sure about, but it looked good. Check this out. Josh Tuttle, number two, is running down the field toward the locker room, it looks like. And look at this. Ball's in his hands for a 39-yard touchdown reception, 21-17 Simi Valley. Simi Valley would take a knee and take a safety to make it 21-19. That sets up this run by here, right here by Tino Gary. Another nice run. He somehow ended up with the ball. Then Tyler Ebell. This is for 12 yards, and it would prove to be the game winner. Ebell finishes with 143 yards in the game. Ventura takes it in a barn burner. Final score, 27 to 21. So Ventura starts the year 1 and 0. The Cougars are at Moor Park next week, and Simi Valley stays on the road, this time at Saugus. Mike, let's send it back to you. Hey, Chris, Tyler Ebell was terrific as a sophomore. He looks even better as a junior. Yeah, he's only going to get better, I think. Next year is going to be an unbelievable season for him. He's quick. He weaves in and out of traffic. It seems hard for, for guys to bring him down. He's, he's going to be a great. The Ventura Cougars pulled out a last-second win over Simi Valley last week. Tonight, Phil McCune's squad traveling to play at Moore Park. Our Scott Hennessy was at the game. He joins us with the action from our Ventura County Bureau. Scott? All right. Thanks, Mike. Ventura has one of the best running backs in our area in junior Tyler Ebell. He ran for nearly 150 yards in last week's game, and Moore Park was certainly going to have their hands full with Ebell tonight. Let's go to the tape and see how they did. Here they are. Uh, Moore Park was down 3-0 early on, but they take the ball well into Ventura territory. His quarterback Dylan McLaughlin hits Chris Vizzy here. Very next play, McLaughlin is going to take it around the end on the option play, keep it himself and take it in for the score. Moore Park takes the lead 7-3. Cheerleaders running along there early in the first quarter. Now we cut to the second quarter where Tyler Ebell avoids being tackled in the backfield, puts some nice moves on, then lowers his shoulder, picks up the extra couple yards. After getting shook by Ebell, Moore Park had to try and stop this truck. His name is Tino Gary, and he's ramming heads inside the 10. Very next play, Ebell is stopped just short, but he would not be denied for very long as the very next play, he takes this one in for the score, 10 to seven. Ventura takes the lead. Now Moore Park on the offensive. McLaughlin is going to roll out and hit Matt Davenport here on a nice play. Big hit by Scott Ellis coming up. Ooh, that one had to hurt. Next play, Joe Papandaria. He carries it on the draw here. Nobody knew where they were going. A nice big hole. He takes it for a gain of about 20 yards on the play. But on the very next play, Papandaria is popped at the line of scrimmage. And the ball falls out. And it's recovered by Victor Holmes for Ventura. Now it's going to be Ellis scrambling for the first down for the Cougars here, picking up a key first down on third and eight. Lowering his shoulder there, picking up some tough yards. And on the very next play, it's going to be Ebell taking it around the left end, down the sideline. Just too much speed from Tyler Ebell there. He takes it in from 30-plus yards out for the score, 17-7 to at that point. Moore Park would go on to win, or excuse me, Ventura would go on to win this one, 38-26. to Next week, Ventura will go for the sweep of the Simi Valley Area Schools as they host Royal. Moore Park plays at Channel Islands. Now let's send it back to you, Mike. Hey, Scott, uh, Tyler Ebell, Scott Ellis, Ventura looks like they got a pretty good one-two punch there. Oh, absolutely. Tyler, Tyler Ebell is very tough to bring down. He's got some good moves, and you can see he had a little bit of power there, too, finishing off his runs quite well. They've got uh, other great runners on that team as well, and they definitely look very tough tonight. Moore Park, unfortunately, another tough loss for them. They're 0-2 to start the season. And Ventura, first time since 92 that they've started out 2-0. Ventura junior running back Tyler Ebell rushed for more than 200 yards and five touchdowns last week against Moore Park. That's all he did. Tonight, Ventura and Ebell hoping to ring Royals' bell. First quarter, Ventura's first possession, first and 10 from the three. The handoff to Mr. Ebell for a nice gain of nine yards. Very next play, they got the ball. On the 12 yard line, he's gonna go 88 yards. 88 yards. He's going 88 yards. I don't care what year in school he's in, he's going 88 yards for the touchdown. The extra point was good, an amazing running back, 7 0. And there's Tyler on the bench. Tyler, you are number one tonight. Royal quarterback Joe Brown, sacked for a loss of nine, a beginning for a, of a tough night for the Highlanders. And then more Ventura offense as they force the punt. They get it back, Scott Ellis, to Brian Easterly. 43 yards. Nice catch by Brian. Nice move by Brian. And Brian's a big guy, but that's a nice open field tackle. So 43 yards. Now it is first and goal from the five yard line. And Tino Guria runs it in. PAT was good. 14 0. Scott Ellis back to pass again. And this is one of his four interceptions on the night. Tough one for the quarterback. End of the first quarter, 14 0 Ventura. Tyler Ebel fumbles the ball here in the second quarter. Royal recovers. And then they try a 42 yard field goal. You got to really nail it. Now it was blocked. 
don't know how hard he nailed it. Blocked by Scott Ellis and picked up by Brian Easterly. And the half ended 14 to nothing. We didn't do too badly for ourselves here on Friday Football Focus because the final in this one was 21 to nothing. So we had two of the three touchdowns. Next week, the 3 0 Cougars are at Rio Mesa. Royal has Newbury Park at home. Winning in week one, the Oxnard Yellow Jackets have failed to taste victory again. Tonight, Oxnard would have to play an almost perfect game as they went up against Roll Tyler six. Ebel Double. and the Ventura Cougars. Drop First down. half ended with the score tied at seven. Tyler Ebel had a touchdown. First play of the third quarter, Ventura's five, Scott uh, Ellis to Tino Gary, 50 five, yards. One, He's brought Campbell down by Lonnie McCown at Oxnard's 30-yard line. Three plays later, third and two, Oxnard's 22, Scott Ellis to Tyler Ebel, who runs for 11 yards before being brought down by McCowan again. So Lonnie, busy tonight on defense. Next play, it's like Tyler just charges his battery in the morning, Mike, and then he's gone the rest of the day. Takes it 11 yards for the touchdown, his second TD of the night. PAT was no good, made it 13-7. Oxnard's second possession, first and 10 at the Ventura 45. It's fumbled, Scott Ellis recovers at the 37, but Ventura unable to move the ball, so three quarters ends 13 to seven. Fourth and two, Ventura on the Oxnard 45 fake punt. Tino Gary carries the ball for a Ventura first down. Same drive, third and eight, Oxnard 39. Scott Ellis passes to Clark Goodwin. That's good for a first down. Now two plays later, first and goal to Ventura at the Oxnard four yard line. Scott Ellis to Tyler Ebel for the four yard touchdown run, made it 19-7. Huge two point conversion, who else? Tyler Ebel, it's good, it made it 21 to seven. That would be huge. Late fourth quarter, Oxnard puts together a drive of its own. Tony Williams keeps the ball and gets creative. Oh, good Let's say you got creative. Wow. I mean, you know, they give him 16 yards on the stat sheet, but he ran 102 on the play, I think. Three plays later, Oxnard at the Ventura 39. Jason Parker, 16 yards before being run out of bounds. Another fine athlete on that Oxnard team. Later in the drive, first and goal, Oxnard at the Ventura 10. Jason Parker on a three-yard TD run. PAT was good. That made it 21 to 14. Oxnard comes back now, a little bit at the end. They tried one more drive. That is your final. Right, CG. That's why that young lady is happy. 21-20. Ventura is off to a 5-0 start. The Cougars come up to Santa Barbara next week as they take on San Marcos. Ventura Cougars have been living very dangerously. They are a perfect 6-0, but have won each of their last two games by a single point. Tonight, Ventura playing a Dos Pueblos Roll team five. that looked very good last week against Santa Barbara. Head coach Jeff Hesselmeyer on the DP sideline. First play of the second half. Watch this. DP gets a huge break when Ventura fumbles. Alvaro Carrillo picks it up and returns it, well, along Carrillo Drive to the Cougars' two-yard line. And who do you think you give it to? Anywhere inside the 10, you just give it to number 40, Justin Salzman. And that's exactly what Shane Lopes does right there. Nice play, touchdown, extra point, good. 20 to 14 Ventura at that point. Now Ventura's Tyler Ebel, kind of a tough night. He had nine yards here, 19 carries, 69 yards. We're used to seeing Ebel get more than 100 yards. DP defense holds. Justin Salzman, next offensive series. Look at him go, 37 yards to the Ventura 35-yard line. But then the Cougars defense stiffens. Shane Lopes gets sacked by Brian Easterly. Shane, we'll have more on him later on. Just a freshman playing varsity football. That's a big sack right there. Chargers forced to punt. Now the Cougars on offense. Quarterback Scott Ellis throws over the middle. And there is Alvar Alvaro Carrillo again. And this time he's using mission drives. Nice play, but wait, a penalty on the play. Pass interference. Ventura got to keep the ball. Hit Coach Hesselmeyer just well. Didn't make him very happy, and that penalty really hurt. Same drive, fourth quarter. Ellis throws to Tino Gurria, who rumbles 38 yards, one of the nicer runs of the night. This is going to go for a touchdown. They went for two and missed it, so it's 26-14 Ventura. Now, DP back on offense. Shane Lopes gets sacked again, this time by Andrew Mata. But the composure of this kid, Shane Lopes, this is the very next play. He hits Steven Melero for 58 yards to the Ventura 15-yard line. And then Justin Salzman from the five-yard line goes in. Third touchdown of the night. Six touchdowns in the last two games for Salzman. 151 yards rushing tonight for Salzman. 297 yards rushing in the last two games for Salzman. Minute 10 to go. Last chance for DP Lopes. His arm was hit, and he's intercepted by Grant Newman. And that, as my friend Mike Klan would say, seals the deal. 
for Ventura. Final score in this game, Cougars win at 26-21, so Ventura moves to 2-0 in league, 7-0 overall. Ventura will host Santa Barbara next Friday. DP is 1-1 one one in league. Warming up for next week's title game with a non-league contest tonight against Roll the Wyneme Vikings. Up. Cougars entering the game a perfect 8-0 Wyneme going into the end zone, but Newman, Grant Newman, the interception. Going back the other way, 45 yards on the return. And it's Tyler Ebel. Wanted to let everyone know that he was hurt the last couple weeks. That's why he's rushing for 50 or 60 <laughs> yards. Said, hey, tell everyone I was hurt. So there you go, Tyler. He had 20 yards there. The drive stalls, though. Scott Ellis sacked by about three Vikings. It's NY Nimi turning the ball over again. This time, Tino Geary. Gonna pounce on the football. And turn in great shape. Tyler Ebel slicing and dicing his way upfield. Eight yards for Ventura. Watch this here. Tyler didn't want me to put this in the highlights. He fumbled the football, but his teammate, Brian Easterly, recovered it. Nice gain for That's Ventura. That's a nice break. Yeah. <laughs> a 10 yard difference here, too. And then a touchdown for Tino Gary. 7 0 Ventura in the second quarter. More turnovers for the Vikings. They put the ball on the ground. Brian Hill says, thank you very much. And then Scott Ellis calling his own number. It's a great idea. He's got the touchdown. 14 0 Ventura. Here comes Wainimi, devastated by injuries this year. Leslie Lee forced to play quarterback oh, okay. and the running back really up the field there for about 10 yards and Lee dumping it to Dwayne Taylor. Taylor, some nifty moves down the sidelines inside the 20 yard line. And then Leslie Lee, where is Leslie Lee? He's in the end zone for Wainimi's first touchdown of the night. It's 14 to seven, just before half. Dwayne Taylor picks off Scott Ellis and see you later the other way for a touchdown. 14-14 at that point, but Ventura wins this ball game. Final score, 29-26. So Ventura moves to 9-0. What a game that will be between Boyne next week. For Wainimi, they are 4-5 for the year. Vikings are at Oxnard next Friday. Before we leave the Channel League, here are the latest standings. Boyne and Ventura are guaranteed playoff spots. Welcome, everybody, to a postseason edition of Friday Football Focus. I'm Mike Klan, along with Jerry Fall. And tonight, Mike, we have highlights from San Luis Obispo down to Los Angeles. But we start in Ventura, where the Cougars were not only taking on the Rigetti Warriors, but history could be made by Cougar running back Tyler Ebell. And for more on the game, we check in live with Friday Football Focus reporter Rich Garcia, who's in our newsroom. Rich? Thank you, Jerry, and I want to thank you guys for uh, sending me south. I didn't know that there was a county yep. south of here. <laughs> I'm used to going north. I almost went the wrong way. But, Jerry, uh, Tyler Ebell entered the night just 246 yards shy of breaking California's single-season rushing record of 3,586. Now, 246 sounds like a lot. But Tyler is averaging 330 yards per game this season. But more important to Tyler than the record would be a win over Rigetti. And yes, Mrs. Ebell, you do nice work too. Rigetti's first possession, and it's a forgetful one. Danny Brown fumbles, and the Cougars recover, and there is much rejoicing by Ventura. Two plays later from the four, and it's Tyler up the middle for the six, and Ventura up seven and nothing. PAT obviously good. Cougars' very next possession, and it's to the air. Andrew LeVere, who's having a great last couple of weeks, hangs it up for a wide open Chris Foster. That's good for 42 yards, down to the four. Ventura's offense using Ebel as a decoy, and LeVere hits Chris Foster for the score, and before the fans hit their seats, it's 14-0 Cougars. One of the few Warrior highlights, Big Tim Carroll rumbles up the middle for 13 yards and a first down, but it's the only first down of the first half for Rigetti. Cougars on offense, and we've seen this so often this year. Tyler starts inside, nothing there. He bounces to the outside, stays on his feet, and picks up 26 yards on the play. What a move right there. He's finally brought down. Next play from the 26, Ebel with the nifty moves. Here it is, not a replay. The sweet cutback, and forget about it. He waltzes in, Ventura up 21 to nothing in the first quarter. What about Tyler Ebel? Tyler says it's time to get loose. Yeah, it is, Tyler, you're loose. Fourth and four, the Brigetti Warriors on offense, and they decide to try the fake punt. Josh McDonough will not get it, and so it goes for Brigetti. On the ensuing drive, Andrew LeVere gaining confidence, finds Brian Easterly, who hangs on and then runs in for the score from 23 yards out. He's in, 28 to nothing, Ventura, and the route is on. Ventura ball again, and watch Tyler set up his blocker. Right there. What a great move. That's just one of the reasons why he's such a good runner. That one was for 23 yards. Same drive, same result. Ebel with the bounce outside of the dance to the end zone. 35 to Zip Cougars. Should I show you more? Why not? 
second half, and it's Tyler from six yards out in for the score. And guess what? Tyler tells me who his favorite FFF reporter is. All right. Well, you got the tie on tonight, though. Yeah, you got that right, right, Tyler. I'll put it on for you. Final score, 56 to 22 for his career. Tyler now has 6,440 6, yards. He only ran for 200 only. The Ventura County record is 6,615 yards set by Buenas George Kiahu for Ventura. They are now 10 and 1. They will play the winner of tonight's Royal Oxnard game in which he will, we will have highlights later on in the show. Rigetti ends the year at 6 and 4. Well, Rich, uh, Tyler Ebel is going to have to wait a week to get the state record. Speaking of hanging in, the Ventura Cougars ran all over Simi Valley last week behind Tyler Ebel's school record 331 yards on the ground. The scary part of that was that Ebel carried the ball just 12 times. Tonight, Ebel figured to get a lot of attention from the Moore Park High defense, but first, Moore Park on offense, Mike. Early stages, first quarter. Nice swing pass from Matt Broussard to Charlie Brown for the touchdown, 12 yards. 6-0, Moore Park Musketeers, extra point no good. Tyler Ebel, well, on the first play for Ventura, goes to the outside. How about 80 yards? That's right, an 80-yard touchdown by Tyler Ebel. And with this play, folks, becomes Ventura High's all-time leading rusher. Congrats to you, Tyler. Oh, we're not done with you yet. 7-6 Ventura. Ventura Cougars are trying to shake off their first loss of the year as they failed to rival Buena one week ago. Tonight, the Cougars hosting Channel League opponent San Marcos. 27-7 at halftime in favor of Ventura. First play of the third quarter, Ventura's star running back Tyler Ebel. 11 yards. Ebel with 212 yards rushing in the first half and four touchdowns. How about this play? Very next play. Ebel, 43 yards. Mike, I'm convinced Tyler knows where the camera is at all times. Let's give it a little look right there. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, now so San Marcos is looking for the run, so Ventura crosses him up. Andrew Lavier to Chris Foster to the San Marcos one yard line. Who do you give it to from there? Tyler Ebel. In from a yard out, his fifth touchdown of the night, 34-7 Ventura. Now the Royals trying to get it going on offense, but Ventura's defense with other ideas. Brian Easterly with a big sack. San Marcos coach Rick Messer came in with a pretty good game plan, just wondering at this point what will work. Well, this play works. Andre Vine's 16-yard run gets it to the Ventura 48-yard line, but the Royals had to punt. Ventura back on offense. There you get a good look at Tyler Ebel. Look at that quick first step. 11 yards. Cougars next play after a five yard penalty. They have it on their own 18 yard line. This is a lateral pass, so this is considered a running play. Tyler Ebel, 82 yards for his sixth touchdown of the night. 18 carries, 353 yards rushing tonight for Tyler Ebel. He was done after that because Coach McEwen didn't want to run it up. Ventura's defense was not done. A.J. Pateras with the interception and a 50-yard touchdown return. Final score in this one, 48-7 Ventura. So the Cougars moved to 6-1 and for the season and 1-1 one and one in the Channel League. For San Marcos, they slipped to 0-2 in league and 1-6 and overall. The Royals host Buena next week. We will have highlights from Buena's game at Oxnard later on. A lot of games, and we start with an emotional one yes. right off the bat. We start at Ventura's Larrabee Stadium, where the host 6-1 Cougars taking on the 5-2 Dos Pueblos Chargers. The winner of tonight's game would all but lock up at least second place in the Channel League. Here's why it was an emotional night. Larrabee Stadium dedicated as Turner Field in honor of the late Eric Turner, who passed away last May. Eric Turner, Turner's mom in the stands. What a football player, a better human being. Dos Pueblos, Shane Lopes to Jay Staggs for the touchdown. It was 28-14, Ventura at that point. Fourth and two on Ventura's 35. Deep peak and sacked by Ventura's Ryan Tanner. And now Ventura with the ball. Tyler Ebel, this is a historic run as he smashes his way to become the all-time county leader in rushing in a single season with 2,553 yards. And there's Tyler Ebel adding to it. 30 yards for the touchdown. He had 200 yards at halftime, and it was 35-14 Ventura. More Ventura in the third quarter, of course, more Tyler Ebel. Ebel, 34 yards for another touchdown, 42-14 Ventura. And then on DP's own 34, Nick Kerr with the interception. 
Ventura back in business. That means more Tyler Ebell. He is sensational. Where he is? Where is he? There he is. Touchdown. 49-14. That's his home, the end zone. And then more Ebell. He's GONE. Gone with the win. 72 yards for the touchdown. He had 351 yards rushing in this ball game. That's unofficial. Tyler Ebell, watch this. Does he like the camera? He points to his helmet for the late Walter Payton and late Eric Turner. What a class guy. Ventura wins it. Final score, 64-28. Ventura now 2-1 and one in the Channel League. They finish off league play next week at Santa Barbara. Now to the Channel League, where record-wise, you would think that tonight's Ventura-Santa Barbara matchup would be a guaranteed blowout. After all, Ventura has not lost, while Santa Barbara has just one win on the year. But remember, Santa Barbara played a very tough non-league schedule, and Ventura has won their last three games by a combined seven points. So let's see if this was a blowout. And we appreciate the girls yelling for us there. And here we go. Tyler Ebell takes the pitch from Scott Ellis. 22 yards for Mr. Tyler Ebell. He weaves his way near the goal line. And then it's Ebell across the goal line, aerial. Touchdown Ventura, 6-0. Here comes the extra point. And they got it, 7-0 Ventura. Fourth down, Santa Barbara forced a punt. And good boot, but watch what happens. Ventura fumbles the ball, and Santa Barbara, the recovery deep into Ventura territory. The Dons, Darren Dixon. Nice job running the ball for 12 yards for Santa Barbara. Fourth down, Dons go for it, but they don't get it. Ventura holds them on downs. Now we move to the second quarter. Santa Barbara on the attack. Rabbi Days hauls in the pass. He takes it to the one yard line where Matthew Huff goes over. He scored a touchdown last week and this week too. Extra point good, it's tied up at seven. Here comes Ventura, Tyler Ebel breaking off a 51 yard run. It didn't lead to anything points-wise, but a pretty nice run. Ventura struggled a bit, but then they, they blew it open. Final score, 31-7. to So Ventura moves to 3-0 and in league, 8-0 and overall. Next week, they play non-league opponent. The Tyler Ebell Show playing in Wainimi this week as the Ventura running back continuing his assault at the California State rushing record. Ebell entered the game at Wainimi with 3,102 yards. That is just 483 yards shy of the state record. Ebell doesn't care about any of that. He just wants to win, and this will help. First quarter, Tyler, seven yards for the touchdown. Ventura up seven to nothing. Cougars defense sensational in this game. Ryan Tanner, the interception, and they are deep into Wainimi's territory. Watch this. Andrew LeVere fumbles the snap, picks it up. Chris Foster just runs his route. And there it is, bingo, 32 yards for the touchdown. PAT failed, 13 to nothing. Larry Miller of Wainimi not happy about that. Or this early second quarter, Tyler Ebell getting around the corner very quick. Tyler, 22 yards, thought he scored the touchdown, but we looked at it, he was out of bounds. Didn't matter because they go right back to Ebell. The middle's plug, not a problem. Bounces outside, the touchdown, two point conversion good. It's 21 to nothing. Ventura's LeVere to Brian Easterly. The big guy's going 30 yards for the touchdown. 28-0 Ventura at the half. Hardly music to Wainimi's ears, but this is early third quarter. Gordy Pinedo doing it himself. Two yards for the touchdown. Wainimi back in it, 28-7. Tyler Ebell says, I don't think so. Probably his best run in this game. Ebell, some great moves, slipping some tackles, and Tyler Ebell's out in the open. Julian Golden, though, Runs him down, 55 yards though for Ebell there, and then knocking on the door, Tyler Ebell, third touchdown in this game, 35-7, Ventura. Lavere, he had a big ball game. Up top to Sean McNary, what a catch. 50 yards for the touchdown, 49-7, Ventura. Early fourth quarter, uh, TE equals TD, Ebell, fourth touchdown in this game, and you know you're having a great season when you rush for 234 yards, and it's the lowest output of the season. He has 3,336 yards now. Ventura wins it, final 49 to 22. Ventura now nine and one for this season, and will get the number two seed out of the Channel League for Pacific View League team Wainimi. They are seven and three and share the league title. We'll have the rest of that league's highlights later 
in the show. First, here are the final Channel League standings. Rick Scott's Buena Bulldogs win their... Coming up on another playoff edition of Friday Football Focus, Ventura running back Tyler Ebel tries to have a royal evening with a win over the Highlanders and by making California history. The Royal Grande Eagles look to take a bite out of the Buena Bulldogs, but they would need to contain Freddie Kiaho. And who would win the rematch between Carpinteria and Nordoff? Find out next on Friday Football Focus. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Friday Football Focus. I'm Jerry Fall, along with Mike Klan. All right. Tonight, we have highlights from Arroyo Grande to Los Angeles. We start in Simi Valley, though, where Ventura running back Tyler Ebell set California history tonight as he became the all-time single-season leading rusher in the state. Entering tonight, Ebell needed just 46 rushing yards to break the record as Ventura played at Royal in a CIF quarterfinal game. But look at this. Ventura picked off by Royals Mike Carr, and he drives it all the way downfield. 55 yards for the touchdown, 7 0 Royal. But here's what a lot of people wanted to see tonight Tyler Ebell gets the pitch, and history is made. Ebell does it in style, 38 yards to give him 3,605. He's down at the 15, and oh, yeah, Ebell will get a lot more yards tonight. Ebell. Up, over, and in for the touchdown. 7-7 is the score. Royal fans, though, plenty to cheer about tonight. Kickoff return by Rennie Martinez. He goes 45 yards. And second quarter now, same drive. James Cox to Robert Davis for the touchdown. It's 14-7 Royal. Remember, they got shut out earlier in the year to Ventura. Back comes Tyler Ebel. 30 yards to the outside before he's just pushed out of bounds and set up a Brian Anderson 27-yard field goal, 14 to 10. Royal up. Ventura defense. Richard Martinez and Brian Easterly with the sack. Ebel rushed for 354 yards in this game. Ventura wins. Final score 38 to 21. Now, besides setting the single season state record, Ebel now also owns the Ventura career rushing record with 6,794. That passes the old mark set by Buena's George Kiaho for Ventura. They are now 11-1 and are off to the semifinals for Royal. Their fine season ends at 7-4-1.